Hello, all of you amazing viewers, whether you are a human or an AI program, and welcome back to the channel. I've got a lot of really cool stuff to show you guys today. It's exciting. It's amazing. I didn't really know how to structure this video. Essentially, this is basically a showcase of a bunch of new little AI stuff, as well as news for the AI space as a whole. I don't even know what I'm going to title this video, to be honest, but I think you guys will find it interesting as well as useful. As always, links will be down in the description below. Anyways, I wanted to start this video off talking about the new Mid Journey beta. A few weeks ago, they released a beta that a lot of people were basically calling like Mid Journey with Stable Diffusion, because it was like right after Stable Diffusion had released and stuff. And they had that beta going for like 48 hours. And I only got one generation through with it because I wasn't even home at the time. But yeah, this was Walter White orders a pizza. And as you can see, it does a pretty decent job in comparison to the old mid journey. But again, this was like a really weird temporary beta. So this was only up for like 48 hours and they took it down and like a week or two went by. And then just recently, they've put out another beta, which is even improved further than the original beta that they released right after Stable Diffusion released. So my viewers here on my Discord have been generating with mid journey. So I'm going to show off their examples. And by the way, feel free to join the Discord down in the description below. You can do prompt requests. We've got AI news that flows through here quite often. So you can find out about the latest AI stuff and you can keep up to date on any of my content as well. Anyways, here is a galaxy in a bottle with the new beta. And I got to say that is looking absolutely fantastic. Beautiful image flawless in my opinion. Here is another generation. As you can see, it is doing a way better job with faces, most notably. There's also a separate option with this new Mid Journey beta just for photos. So there's Dash Dash Test, which is just the base improved model, and Dash Dash Test P, which is the photo model. This one is with Test P. This is a Border Collie eating a lemon. And as you can see, that is extremely coherent. That's what we're seeing in the image. We've got a nice Border Collie. It's almost photorealistic. Still has a little bit of that Mid Journey painting feel but honestly I don't mind it at all he's got the lemon right in his mouth it's also got the new upscaler going and man it just looks absolutely fantastic mid journey is really kicking things up a notch now that SD has released I don't know if they're using SD we don't really know the details on that SD by the way is stable diffusion here is a picture of a woman's face like a nice close-up this is pretty much photorealism right here lots of detail in the skin and around the eyes and everything and on the lips and man it is just getting really Really good really nice faces from mid journey now nice symmetrical here is another example from the new mid journey beta this is obviously some character art right here but we can see even the hands are almost perfect here i mean it's a little screwed up on this one but other than that the body is fully formed with no weird artifacts going around the face is symmetrical and yeah this almost looks like art purely drawn by a human almost perfect here from the new mid journey beta we've also got some of this art right here like this picture of like a bunny knight that is just crazy good also got this frog knight completely amazing also getting some really nice you know sharp images of dragons as well which are coming out really nice so yeah just a lot of really amazing stuff coming out of this new mid journey beta and it seems to take the really good parts of mid journey and combine them with the really good parts about stable diffusion like i said i did some tests of my own these are walter white tests right here walter white orders a pizza there's his pizza right there and the smoke is emanating into Walter's nose as he sniffs and breathes in the pizza. But other than that, perfect Walter face here. Nice looking pizza. Got some peaches on the side here. Really nice image. This is what I'm especially excited to talk about today. This is what's known as image to image. If you haven't heard about what image to image is, basically you put an image in and then you put some text at the bottom and it generates an AI generated image based off of the text and the image together. So this is a free hugging space space that you can use and it's called diffuse the rest as you can see i drew this little lemon character here in an orange blob and i said 3d render lemon character holding a cheeseburger and it used stable diffusion to go ahead and finish up this for me so we got a pretty nice cheeseburger here and they sort of scroll through as you can see but yeah the lemon characters aren't too bad like this is a crude drawing and it actually picked up on quite a lot here i think from this prompt so not too bad we are going to be messing around with this thing today i will link it down below a lot of people have also been messing around with this on my discord and they've been doing some amazing stuff so we'll look at those examples after we mess around with it ourselves but i'm going to restart the process here I'm 
I'm gonna do actually a completely blue background for this image. So we'll paint this all in. Now I'm gonna actually gonna copy a prompt that I saw one of my viewers do earlier. And this right here is a pan, ladies and gentlemen, and it's gonna have some pancakes on it. So yeah, those are my crudely drawn pancakes inside of the pan. Professional photography, stack of pancakes in a pan against a blue background and then we just click diffuse the f rest i don't know why that f is in there but yeah then it sort of does this weird squiggly thing and eventually we get an output and as you can see once it finishes up here we get some pretty stunning results for our crude drawing so yeah like i said it's like supposed to be in a pan it sort of shows a plate at the end of the day you know it does take some creative freedoms but no doubt these are some good looking pancakes. The pancakes look real. They're definitely in a stack. They're against a blue background, that's for sure. They're almost all photorealistic. And yeah, this is super powerful as a tool. Just giving your image a little bit of a heads up on, you know, this is what I want my image to look like. Here's the prompt. It can really point some images in a good direction as opposed to just straight up generating it with the text to image generator. Especially if you want the framing to be a certain way, you want things in your image to be in a certain place, this is definitely a good option. And it is also a ton of fun to mess around with. I can also see this being really fun for kids because we all know how kids have big imaginations and they love to draw their drawings. And stuff like this will be able to bring their, you know, more crude drawings to life. And I just think that's a really cool thing. Let's go ahead and paint a beautiful painting here. I want some stormy clouds up at the top of the image. I want lightning bolts to be crashing down. I have a nice green field here down below. And I guess we'll have, you know, purpley background. Um, hopefully the AI is going to take some artistic freedom here with this one because this image is absolutely atrocious. And then we'll have two figures here down at the bottom watching it. Yeah, this is going to be pretty far-fetched. All right, let's see if it's going to be able to convert this image into something legible. Wow, it actually did a pretty darn good job with this at the end of the day. Okay, this one's not as good, but we got the two people in there. We've got the thunder clouds. It actually got the purple background and the lighting here. It got the green field. Definitely got the painting aspects to it. I am actually genuinely shocked by how good this came out for such a crude drawing. You can really just let it do its thing and figure it out for you. It's pretty amazing. And this does use Stability AI's Stable Diffusion. So Stable Diffusion in general really has just been hitting the AI space by storm. And it's just giving way to some incredible applications that are free for you guys to use at home. So one thing we can also do is upload images into Diffuse the Rest to then edit and convert ourselves. So you could theoretically take like drawings and stuff and then convert them into photorealistic images cool stuff like that But we can also use it sort of like in painting Although the whole image is going to look different at the end of the day It can really give us a good base to start so it's sort of like a mix between variations and in painting So I want to give this Shiba Inu a top hat and by the way I think this Shiba Inu actually is AI generated I could be wrong though the fact that we can't even tell anymore uh, just says a lot I think so yeah we'll just give him a top hat that's fine. I mean, we can barely see it here, but yeah, let's just put a top hat on him. Sure, why not? We'll give him a monocle as well. There we go. Little monocle here. Yeah, he's like a he's like a big brain Shiba Inu or something. Okay, it actually did a really good job putting the top hat on his head. Not so much the monocle though, and I've actually noticed that across AIs, monocle is just like a difficult object for them to understand. So you know, it just ditched the thing entirely. It didn't even try. But we did get a nice top hat on top of some Shiba Inus, and they gotta, I gotta say, they look really good. I don't know, some of them, like, that one's not as great, that one's pretty darn good, I have to say, that one's not as good, and I think the next one's really good, that's also really, really good. It just is understanding what we're putting in the image, it's really simple as that. So here's another one, this is actually generated by Dolly, this is a cat eating watermelon. So let's see if we can use this sort of, like, variations. All right, so actually, I think we got some pretty good variations out of this Diffuse the Rest. They're actually pretty similar to Dolly 2's quality image on the left-hand side here, and this one's actually really cool, where you can see him 
holding up the melon himself, the cat, and eating them. This one, again, has human hands. He's kind of eating it. This is definitely my favorite because he's, like, actually eating the lemon. Some more hands in here, but there is hands in the original image, so it sort of makes sense. But yeah, honestly, it's really pretty good for variations. So now I want to try to generate some nightmare fuel. I've inputted Mario in here. It's squished him down. His aspect ratio is all screwed up. Mario if he was a real person. I really don't know how well this is actually going to work. Okay, we try to do Mario as if he was a real person and it seems to have just tried to generate the regular Mario images and it did a pretty decent job at it at the very least, but yeah, it's, it's sort of just trying to make more of this image. With a different prompt, we'd probably get a better result. So now I wanna take a look at what some people have generated in my Discord server here. So these are actually some ultra realistic Pokemon created by Brocco8 and he was using diffuse the rest I suppose he you know drew out and diffuse the rest the different Pokemon shapes and then let it generate and they actually came out really good as you can see you know these 3D artistic renders and yeah those are definitely some high quality generations to say uh, nonetheless and it's very coherent especially this Pikachu this one came out really really quite good from diffuse the rest so yeah this was a really cool thing to see and as you can see this one was originally just a stock image of pikachu then turned into a photorealistic pikachu so this one was you know some art of a dinosaur you know just sketched in with diffuse the rest and then this is the art that came out of it so not too bad definitely better than the original drawing you know you're definitely getting the dinosaur shapes and stuff in there and brocco8 also did this one here so this was just sort of a drawing of you know some a river and some rocks and he even animated this final one and it came out pretty cool i think so definitely some really cool stuff being made so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here on replicate there's actually a new stable diffusion animation feature which probably deserves a video of its own but i just wanted to showcase it here at the end of the video basically you can take two different prompts so in this case i did a lemon and a tiger and i combined them together to create an animation as you can see starts out with just a simple lemon image and then it slowly starts morphing this image into a tiger and i think it's a really cool little thing and it's nice that it just sort of works really easily and you can set all the settings and stuff up here and replicate this one's very expensive though it's about 30 cents a prompt to do this stable diffusion animation thing here and replicate but yeah it is super super cool now we can transfer different images together extremely easily so yeah more videos and stuff like this to come i just wanted to mention it at the end of this video because i thought it was so darn cool and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching everyone and i will see you in the next video goodbye